Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part 40 of my Java video tutorial series. Today, I'm going to show you how to create J applets, which are just like swing components that you can load right directly into a browser. And also, I'm going to convert kind of my personality test so that we'll be able to come in here, answer a couple questions, hit get results, and a personality report pops right on the screen. So that's kind of convenient. And all the code for this is available underneath of the video. So let's get into the code. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to start importing myself some libraries. So Java X Swing swing because we're going to be using a bunch of swing components inside of this. And if you're used to my swing component tutorials, you're not going to have any problem with this because for the most part, everything you do with applets is identical with what you did with swing components. It's all the same sort of stuff. Only difference is you're going to see here in a minute, you don't use a main function. Then I'm going to go public class and I'm going to go Java lesson 40 extends J applet like that. And then I'm going to have to start creating some components. I'm going to create a J panel and it's going to contain all my other panels that I'm going to create just like you're used to doing with swing. Then I'm going to go question one panel and what this is going to do is it's going to contain all the radio buttons for the first question and then the second question and the fourth question. Now I just have to come in here and change this to two, three, and four. If you can't see what's on the screen just view it full screen everything will look wonderful. Then we need to create a button result and don't worry I'm going to be covering a whole bunch of new things here in a second and I need to create a J radio buttons that are going to represent all the different questions in the personality test and don't worry about it if you don't know what an extrovert is or any of that stuff I'll provide a link above if you want to see the personality test sensor radio okay so those are going to be the names for all the different radio buttons we're going to be using here in this little tool then I'm going to dynamically create and then display an HTML document so to do that I'm going to use a J editor pane and I'm going to call it your report a thing that popped up there on the screen that was a J editor pane with an HTML file in it and here's the big difference we do not use main function instead with applets that open up in browsers we're going to use an init function then we're going to set the size or the frame that's going to go inside of that browser to 675 pixels to 870 pixels pretty simple then we're going to go the panel which is going to contain all the other different panels i'm going to go new j panel and then inside of it i'm going to go new flow layout and then i'm going to go flow layout what this is going to allow me to do is left justify everything that is inside of the panel and it's going to give me an error message saying it can't find flow layout so i'm just going to click on import bring that in there and there you are and you can cast this into a layout manager but you don't need to as you can see there and then i'm just going to go question one panel is equal to new j panel because all of the radio buttons are going to be contained in their own special little panel and i need four of these of course and then we just need to change this to two and this to three and this to four. Now you got separate panels for all your radio buttons Then you need to create borders around all of those panels. So we're going to go border and border one. That's where you saw the little questions and whenever I ran this guy for you and you go border factory dot create titled border and of course I have a whole entire tutorial on this then I'm going to type in my question do you prefer to work and then I'm going to like that and there you go there's the border just so you know what I mean, this is what I'm doing right here. These are the borders and also these are the panels and then those are of course the radio buttons. So what are we gonna need to do? Well, this is underlined, what's that mean? We're gonna go import border and there you go. Now we've got that border library inside of there and we're gonna create four of these because there's four panels. And I'm just gonna call this border two, border three and border four. And then we're just gonna change our questions. And this was gonna be, which is most important? And this one's gonna be, do you act on and then which do you prefer like that all right so all those questions are going to be available in there and then we need to come in here and solidify these question panels by setting the borders around these panels so sounds really hard it's not question panel we're going to go set border and set this to border one because that makes sense now we got that assigned and what do we got to do well we got to create four of those and that's exactly what we did and then we just need to change these to two three four change this to three change that to four. There we are. Just putting everything together like a bunch of puzzle pieces. Then what we need to do is make sure that only one radio button can be selected per question. And you do that by using button groups. And we're just going to go group one is equal to new button group like that. And then guess what we're going to do? We're going to do this for all of the other ones like that. So be two, three, 
for. So now we're going to have a button group for each of the radio buttons. Then we want to go in here and get this stuff right here. And I'm just going to copy it so that I make sure everything's spelled the same. Paste that inside of there. Then I'm going to go actually copy this. I cut it. Extrovert radio is equal to new J radio button. And I'm going to say in groups, which is going to be the answer to said question. And I need eight of these guys. So. And then I'm going to cut this out of here and down here, paste that in on your own. Cut this out of here, paste it right there. Actually, why don't I do it for all of them? Paste. All right, so I got those all changed. Then I need to assign the right questions to each one of the radio buttons and to adapt. There you go. Well, now I need to set the radio buttons to true by default. Some of these are going to be true. And I'm just going to have extrovert radio be true and sensor be true and feeler be true and judging be true. So that's just going to be each radio button is going to have a default is true and then set selected like that. And if you want to set it to true, that's how you do it. Pretty simple. Then if we want to do it for all the other ones, just paste this in there, and there you go. Throwing everything together here real cool. Now we need to add our radio buttons to their individual panels. So we're going to have to go quest one panel dot add, and then inside of this, we're going to put extrovert radio like that. And then I'm actually going to copy this, paste it eight times again. And you normally, of course, wouldn't do all this all in one method using the initialization method, but just to go through here and not get things too confusing, that's the way I'm doing it. Soon enough, I'll cover design patterns and algorithms and get into all the computer science, computer science stuff. And then I'm going to copy this. Oh, I did notice I had the semicolons in the wrong place. I don't know why I did that. Got that fixed. Okay, so I got all of those radio buttons attached to the right panels. Now I need to assign all these guys to the right groups. In this situation, remember, that's so that you can only select one at a time. And this one's going to be group one, and that's going to stay the same. I'm going to copy this, paste, like that. And I'm going to come in here and change these to two, three, four. And there we are. Now we got all those radio buttons assigned to groups, so you can only select one at a time. Now we need to come in here and add our radio button panels to the main panel, which is called the panel. Question one, panel, like that. And then guess what we're going to do? We're going to copy and paste again. And then we're going to go two and four. And there we go. Got that all set up. So it's just a matter of what do you want to do next. And we have to create ourselves a button that is going to fire off a nice method that's going to do all kinds of cool things whenever we click on it. J button. And I'm going to say get result. There we are. That's how you create a J button. And then I'm going to go get results listener. And I'm going to call it but listener is equal to new. Get result listener. And we're going to create this class right here called get results listener. That's why it's not showing anything right now. Except I need to make sure it has the same there. No problem. Then we're going to go get result but which is the name from a button. And I need to Add an action listener, which just is a real simple way of saying, whenever this guy is clicked on, I want you to fire a method. And we're going to go but listener like that. Then I need to go the panel, need to add my little button to my main panel. Then I'm going to go this, which is a reference to the applet window or frame, whatever you want to think of it as. And then add my panel to that applet. And then I need to say, show my applet. And we do that by giving it the value of true. And there you are. Now what I need to do is actually create this class. And I'm just going to call it class, get results, listener, and implements, action, listener. And I like this because I can put my mouse over this and it's going to say add unimplemented methods. Of course, that saves me a little bit of time and thinking. So there we are. I know what I need to work with now because Eclipse helped me along with that. Now inside of this guy, I'm going to create a string and I'm going to call it page to open is equal to. And I'm going to give it a value of nothing. And then I'm going to create another string directory loc, which is directory location, and I'm going to give it file colon three slashes, very important. And then this is on my local drive that I'm playing around with this stuff. So this, of course, is going to be different for you, like that. And then just so I don't confuse things, I'm going to go string text 
to display. And here's where I'm going to be creating the dynamic HTML that's going to be opened up inside of here. Now you don't need a head and all those different things. And I'm going to create a div around this, which I technically don't even have to do, but I don't know. I was just typing and that's what came out. Well then, I was, since I want to put a double quote, I need to escape it with a backslash. And then I'm going to go directory, location, close that off. Now that I get all that fixed, I need to make sure that the event that was triggered was triggered when the button was pressed. And that's the reason why they're here. I'm going to go get result, but and if my button was the reason why the event was triggered, I'm going to say if extrovert radio is selected. And what I'm doing here is just checking if the radio button named extrovert radio was selected. And if it was, I don't need to use curly braces. I'm going to go page to open. And I'm going to put on the end of that the letter E. See, all of my files are going to be of the type three letters. So, for example, ESFJ.ping. So, what I'm doing is I'm slowly adding in those potential things, those ping files. And I'm going to jump up here and grab these just so I make sure I don't have any typos. Typos will kill you. Paste that in there. So, we already got extrovert, so that's good. So, I just need to do eight more of these guys. I like that. And then I'm going to go in here and go introvert. Paste that in there. Sensor. Paste that in there. Intuitive. Healer. Thinker. Judging. And perceiving. There you are. Got all those all set up. I can delete that. And then this is just going to be changed into an I. This is going to be changed into an S, an N, an F. A T. These just match up with the codes for the personality types. J and P. So now I know what ping file I want to open, and that ping file is the personality report. Then I'm going to go to the panel. I'm going to remove all of these unneeded panels from the screen because I don't need them anymore. I want to make room for my personality report. And then just change this to two, and this to three, and a four. So that's how you remove panels. You can do it at any time. Then I'm going to go text to display plus is equal to and I'm going to add these strings to it and remember I said it's a ping file so I'm going to go .png plus I'm going to have to backslash my second double quote this and then this is going to close off my image and this is going to close off my HTML tag at the very end and of course get this out of here. Now we go your report which is the name for my J editor pane and I'm going to go new J editor pane and I'm going to tell it I want text where I'm going to give it an HTML file here. And the string that I want it to display as HTML inside of it is called text to display, which is this whole entire thing, which is the whole HTML file. And of course, don't forget to put the equal sign. And then I'm going to go your report set editable. Oh no, I don't want my J editor pane to be editable. Your report. I'm going to set my size, my J editor pane to 650 pixels by 825 pixels. I want this whole entire report to be scrollable. I'm going to go J scroll pane. I'm going to call it scroller is equal to new J scroll pane. Your report is named my J editor pane. That's what I'm going to add to it. And then I'm going to define how I want scroll bars to appear. J scroll pane. I'm going to say vertical scroll bar always. And then, I'm actually going to copy this, paste that in there. And then I just need to change this to horizontal. Close that off, close that off. Now, if I want to come in here and also, see I told you, you can be covering a lot of things here. I'm going to go scroller, set, preferred, size. I'm just defining how big I want this to be. I'm going to go new dimension. Use dimension to define this. And 825, exactly the same as what I have before. And I didn't import my dimension library, but that let Eclipse do some work for me. Then I just need to go to the panel and add my scroller that contains my J editor pane. And then get result but, which is the button, which I have not deleted yet. And I'm going to set it's visible to false. Another way to make a component disappear on your screen. And then I just need to redraw everything. So I can know the panel. And to do that, you go revalidate. And then the panel. And you go repaint. And that redraws everything in the applet. So there you go. I just taught you a whole bunch of different things. If you have any questions or comments below, all the codes under the video, go get it and then look at it. It's heavily commented and you will learn this stuff instead of just watching me do it. Till next time.